few years ago, I put out a couple videos. One was titled, I Quit. Another one was, It's Time. And it was really, both those were directed at uh, this thing that God had showed me. He had opened up my eyes and shown me the sin of the church. I stared at it for years and he showed it to me. And then he showed me through his word where they were falling short. And as I talked about that, what I found was that thousands of you around the world, just my church in Kentucky, my church in Australia, my church in England, my church in South America, my church in California, just everybody was seeing the same thing, but yet I felt alone. Like I felt like, am I the only one seeing this? And then many of you expressed that you have seen the exact same things, the, the exact same things. It wasn't like I saw one thing and everybody else saw something different. We all saw the same thing, the same wicked, sinful thing that is within the church today. And I had mentioned that if you live in a ten, town of 10,000, there's probably four or five like you because we are what God and the Bible describe as the remnant. It's a scattered people that stand for the things of God. And over the last few years, I felt called by God to unite the remnant, it, in, in the United States at least. I don't want to limit what it is God's doing through me, but I do believe that it was uniting the remnant in the United States and around the world. Uh, but here specifically, and I traveled around this country and met with many people, and through really some amazing events, um, I've been giving access, given access to a building that I fought spiritually over for four years and surrendered it. Um, I mean, it, we came out victorious, but I surrendered it to other people, um, and they and they lost it. They 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 weren't able to maintain control. I, I was able to take a spiritual war in that building and turn it into peace and beauty. And ultimately, once I let go of it, it, it seemed to crumble to nothing. But what God has done is that he's pulled that out of the ashes and he's somehow laid it in my hands one day a month to be a steward of that building and open it up to the remnant because I knew that was an important place. It's something about that ground. It's very important to God, but it's also very important to the enemy. And it was a brutal fight over that place. And through that now, all of a sudden, I didn't want to go back to that place. That's the last place I wanted to go back to. But yet that's the place that God said, this is the place. So for the first Saturday, at least beginning one Saturday a month, the first Saturday of every month, we will meet at 401 South Walnut in the old Christian school in Centerview, Missouri. Now we meet at five and we'll have a little bit of a meeting and some food and then we go live at six. So if you can't join us in person, uh, join us live. Uh, but if you can join us in person, not necessarily can you make every single one, but if you can make one or two a year, it's something about people getting to know each other. Once you kind of can sit and eat together and share some words together, that, that then the remnant begins to unite. I don't know what God is doing. Um, I don't need to know the next step, but I know that this step is just open up the building one day a month um, and invite the remnant to come and gather there, whether it be in person or live. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Now, if you need, we do have free camping. Uh, we're near the town of Warrensburg. If you want to stay in a hotel, there's a lot of hotels in Warrensburg. It's really only 10 minutes away, if not five minutes away. Uh, but we also have free camping if you want free camping. I'm going to put that link below. Now, this is not about building a church. This is about being the church. Uh, so we're working with the prison ministry and the food ministry all through uh, Standing in the Gap Ministries to then serve that community and really kind of take over Centerview for the Lord Jesus Christ um, is ultimately what I believe we're doing. And a lot of the service work revolves around the prison ministry. It revolves around the hungry. It revolves around the widows and the orphans. So I'm going to put Joe's phone number below. If you plan on coming, um, you know, we could, there's food to be delivered all day long. Um, I'm going to put his phone number below. Uh, otherwise meet us at five, four Oh one South Walnut in Centerview, Missouri at the old school. Uh, it's gonna it's it's really been awesome and what you're seeing there is people who are not typically necessarily your 
typical churchgoers. We're, we look like rough around the edges Christians, but it's some of the most amazing, strongest Christian men and women I've ever surrounded myself with. Um, unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. And I'd rather be around five people like that than 5,000 people who just call themselves Christians. So um, this Saturday, March 4th, 401 Walnut at 5 o'clock, 6 live. If you can't join us um, in person, join us live. But again, it's the first Saturday of every single month. So if you can't join us then, join us one of these other days. So... Uh, but please join us. If, if you believe that you're looking around at church and you're like, you know what, there's no fruit. Um, I'm looking around like I'm hearing the words that, that they're saying the right things, but I don't actually see them doing the right things. Um, you know, we just went through the book of Jude and Jude just, that's all he talked about is how they, inf the wickedness infiltrates the church with flattering words. Uh, but there's no fruit. Fall comes and there's no fruit. Um, and that doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I don't want to play church. I'm, a, I'm not interested in playing church. I'm interested in being the church. And I know there's many of you, thousands of you out there that are saying the exact same thing, but there's not a place for you because everywhere else is just like what we've already seen. And that's what this is. It's a different place. It's a place where people stand up for the things of God and point out the wickedness, even if we do get accused of division. It's important that the wickedness be exposed in the churches in America. And just like Jude said, you either leave or you fight. Those are your only two options. You don't stick around and play church with the rest of the people playing church. You either leave or you fight it out and change that place. Uh, but that's what this is. It's a uniting of that remnant. So join us uh, this Saturday, March 4th, live or in person. If you can't join us in March, join us in April, join us in May, join us in June, July, August, September. Uh, we'll be there. So uh, uniting the remnant. Any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put it in the comments below. See you this Saturday.